hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel 2023 presidency it's uh, still far away but the campaign uh softly though have begun in earnest and uh, don't forget that no matter who you are in as much as you're a nigerian and you're both 18 you are eligible to vote and be voted for of course of course if you do not have any criminal um, records to that effect uh, that also brings us to the fact that um, zoning has not officially been announced but of course a lot of nigerians a lot of po politicians are assuming that the zoning should go to the presidency zone should go to uh, south but there have been a lot of inner tussles here and there and it's actually Jagoban and others. Before going to the news proper to find out the intricacies and the fact that our number two man, though of unofficially and officially has not said anything to that effect, but there have been a lot of news brewing here and there. We're going to find out exactly what Nigerians are saying concerning this matter and what Tinubu and his strong supporters and allies are saying. Don't forget, both are actually from the southwest. And both emanated from the same political party. Before continuing, please like, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, the Vice President Yemi Osinbajo has his eyes firmly set on succeeding his principal. Mm. Just an allegation, no, it's not founded yet. President Mohamed Buhari in 2023 had and he's already started moves to actualize his ambition. Well, that was carried by Daily Independent exclusively, anyway. This ambition, however, may put him in collusion course with his political leader, Asiwa Jubola Tinubu, former Lagos state governor and national leader of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC who nominated Osiba Joe as Buari's running mate in December 2014. Wat Nebo, who returned from London last week after a knee surgery, has not formally declared his, his interest in, in 2023 uh, presidency. But one of his key associates said that he will make his position known after APC National Convention when a substantive leadership of the party would have been elected. However, several political groups, the principal one being the Southwest Agenda for Asiwaju 2023, that's Swaga 23, um, has been conversing support for him across the country. Our respondent spoke with several credible sources in the party who confirmed the development, even though majority of them chose to remain anonymous. According to one of them, who was a key member of President Buhari's campaign, team in 20 in 2019 presidential elections osiban joe's interest in the race was buoyed by the pressure by many stakeho stakeholders in the party including associates of the president who believe that he is the best candidate to continue from where buhari will stop in 2023 he said those pushing for osiban joe also believe that having understudied president muhammad buhari as vice president for over six years without showing any sign of disloyalty osibajo will continue with the policies of buhari administration if elected president speaking further he said age factor and the claim by some and the claim by some stakeholders in the party that if apc should zone the presidential ticket to the south a christian should succeed president buhari tunibu is a muslim Osibajo has his eyes set on becoming the president in 2023. There's no doubt about that. He has not come out directly, but he's using some front as proxy. His belief is that the cabal in the presidency and those that matter in the north will not accept an Asiwaju Tinubu candidacy. Right now, some groups have started campaigning publicly for him, and he did not restrain or disown them. Many people are not aware of this, but the truth is that he has more or less relocated his, his base to Ogun State in Ikene, thereby sending a signal that he is not a Lagosian. He has also set up some committees to help him go around the country to assess the situation, his chances and the challenges he may face. He's also banking on the belief that the Christian community in Nigeria will solidly back him, he said. When asked how Sibajo will cope with cope given the fact that he has no political base, especially in the Southwest. Our sources said the only thing 
Usimanjo needs is the endorsement by President Muhammad Buhari and Tinubu. It is wrong for anyone to say Usibajo doesn't have a political base. Stop comparing the Usibajo of today with the one that was Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Lagos then. Do you know what it means to be the number two man in Nigeria? I think it's childish for anyone to say that a man who has been in the office as vice president for more than six years and had also served as acting president doesn't have a political base. He has political base, not just in the Southwest, but across the country. The only thing he needs is the endorsement by President Buhari and blessings of Asiwaju. He may not get that of Asiwaju given the current situation, but if President Buhari, who is truly the leader of the party, anoints him, anoints him, everyone, including Asiwaju, will fall in line, he said. When contacted, Laulia Kandi, spokesperson to Vice President, said his principal has issued several statements that he is not focused on 2023 right now and that his position remains unchanged. Mm, that's quite principled, I must say, judging the fact that 2023 is still far away. Okay, why start campaigning about oh, in Nigeria? You need to start uh, giving your information early so that people can start aligning. Okay, but let's continue with the news anyway. In one of the statements, as Osiba just has said, he has not declared any interest whatsoever in 2023 election, but he rather focused on working in his capacity as vice president in the Buhari administration to address all the compelling issues in the country. However, a serving senator in Southwest said that he's confident that Tinubu will not contest in 2023. Mm. Could it be a game plan? Oh, let's find out. The question is, will Asiwaju run in 2023? I don't know. I strongly believe that he's not going, he's not going to run. All these activities by Swaga and others are just to create anxiety in the system. He knows they will stand in his way and he won't get the, a the APC ticket. So he won't want to throw away his money by contesting. All what they are doing now is to charge up the policy so that at the end of the day, everybody will ponder, ponder to him and he will have a say in whatever becomes, whoever becomes the presidential candidate. I'm 99, I'm 99 certain that he's not going to run. You can take my words to the bank. He noted. Mm. If this is the, if this is the case, man, I, Honestly, I'm looking forward to 2023 with this level of politicking already. Now, if this one, you can imagine these guys are just reading this thing like chess game, trying to check, okay, this guy is just fonting, it's not ready. But I, I don't know if that could be, be true because, I don't, like, like in another news very quickly, the Lagos State Governor Baba Jide Sanwolu on Sunday declared that Bola Tinubu is fit and ready for his next political move. Did you hear that? Which means possibly there's some things on, under the carpet as in, in the red dead that is still not open yet, but eventually we'll get to know. So Sanwolu made the comment at an event in honor of all Progressive Congress leader APC. The Lagos Healthman assured of his pre predecessor's renewed vigor. The governor said Tinubu's return excited the people of Lagos and supporters across Nigeria. We give glory to God who brought you Tinubu back with sound health and strong vigor. We give praises to God that the intention of the evil-minded people who spread malicious rumor, malicious rumor against our leader did not materialize. This event shows Asiwaju is healthy and possesses more energy to embark on his next moving politics, so what you said, which means there's a lot of dynamics here. The other guy said we should take a statement to the bank that uh, uh, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu is not going to run. It's just to hit up the policy. But here yeah, with what Son is saying, let's wait to that conversation. What's a take? And the dynamics already playing out even before today.